Drive with Steve Jackson on the news and talk of Sonoma County. 1350 KSRO. Thank you, big voice guy. It is 5.08 on this Thursday drive. Thanks for riding with us. I'm Steve Jackson. And joining us in the studio. Oh, wait a minute. Wait. I wanted to uh, mention about Lisa Williams. She was the psychic that we just talked to. That was a fun conversation. I'm glad to hear Ray Charles is still singing and playing piano in heaven. Um, she is appearing tonight. Her show is at the Wells Fargo Center. Tickets are still available. Get over there and check it out. She, it's all audience participation, and uh, I was talking to her off the air, and, and it's a lot of fun. I mean, it's, it's not uh, totally serious all the time. You know, there's, it's, there's a lot of laughs. There's a lot of fascinating things that go on. And it's the whole show going on tonight at the Wells Fargo Center. Psychic Lisa Williams. So go check that out. Okay, joining us live in the studio is Ann Jordan from the Northern California Screenwriters Group. Mm-hmm. Can I say group? Yeah, you can say group, association, whatever. Right. Well, welcome to the drive. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, and what's going on is that we're, what we're going to talk about is happening in seven months, folks. But there's a reason for us to uh, start talking about it now. Basically, they're holding an expo. The Northern California Screenwriters Expo is going to be held in March of 2010 in Napa at the Meritage Resort and Spa. It's a new luxury resort over there on the other side of the hill. And it's going to be two days of screenwriting and filmmaking classes. And this is what's really amazing is that uh, there'll be a pitch fest on Sunday. So that means attendees can pitch their scripts and projects, their ideas for screenplays, etc., to agents, producers, and Hollywood studio execs who will be uh, at the Expo. And then there's a wine tasting event on Friday, uh, but I'll stop talking about it because the woman who knows all about it is Ann Jordan, and she's here, and is this the first of its kind in the, in the North Bay? It's actually the first of its kind um, outside of Hollywood. <laughs> Excuse me, I just... <laughs> Just smack me. I just did a Will Durst on her mic. <laughs> just ripped it right off the thing. Will Durst does that every time he comes in. He goes, hey, it's great to be here. Wow. <laughs> He's got to hold it like a lounge singer for the rest of the There's show. always drama, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're talking about screenwriting and drama. Uh, right. Okay, so uh, how did this all come about? Uh, well, I've been writing for a long time, and I teach screenwriting over at uh, Santa Rosa Junior College, um, Sonoma State, and uh, also at College of Marin. Uh, And what I started realizing is that there is a huge movement here in uh, Sonoma County for the film industry. And we actually have, in the Northern California, we have a lot of production companies. We've got Pixar, we've got uh, Lucas, we've got uh, Zoetrope, we've got uh, Danny Glover has a production company in Berkeley. We have have Red Bird uh, Cinema with uh, Kevin Pollack over in Danville. So a lot of things are starting to move up this way. And... I just thought that this would be an opportunity for a lot of aspiring writers, directors, and filmmakers to meet with the people who've made it successfully in Hollywood and to have the opportunity to pitch their projects. And this hasn't been done before, to your knowledge, in in Northern California? never been done ever in Northern California, and uh, first time actually ever outside of Los Angeles. So now you teach at these three different locations, teach screenwriting. I teach screenwriting, yeah. And have you had a screenplay that uh, has made it to film or i mean how did you No, none of my screenplays have made it to film i've been optioned but never uh nothing has been produced but uh, i have several uh, students who've done very very well including one of your colleagues uh doc mccoy he has written and i'm not kidding an oscar winning screenplay it's just fabulous we were, we were talking about that off the air mike doc mccoy who has been on the show because he wrote his uh, his book called through my mother's eyes his mother growing up in an internment camp in uh, the Philippines, mm-hmm. in Manila, yeah, during World War II. And uh, we've had them on the show twice to talk about that book. It's a great book, and now I find out he's written a screenplay for it, and you think it's one of the, oh, it's huge. It's unbelievable. Uh, the book is good, but i got to say, that screenplay is just so dramatic because it's been shortened, you know, Uh, for a film for two hours but it's just unbelievable i think every actress in hollywood is going to be fighting for that role wow exciting yeah i think you're going to lose your colleague (laughs) doc mccoy who you hear on our sister station the river and uh yeah well it's a great book and it it makes sense that it would make a great movie i'm amazed that uh that mike wrote the screenplay and it's it's all done it's ready to go it's ready to be pitched he wrote it in three months 
Um, he just did a fabulous job with it. But you'd be surprised. My students have come up with uh, stories that just floor me where I go, good Lord, the amount of talent here in Sonoma County. It's unbelievable. It's like every single person has a great story within them. Yeah. There might even be one in you. Uh, there's, there's probably <laughs> 10 or 20 in me, but I'll never be able to write it, write about it. I, but, I, okay, so I, now how do they... How do you write a screenplay? I mean, what I know you teach these classes, but you say you've got all this talent uh, in the North Bay, and a, writing a screenplay is, is different it, than just sitting down and writing a short story it's or something. very different, but it's also the same. Uh, what I do is I give my students the basics, uh, the structure, and the formatting so that they can take their idea and make it so that it looks like a professional script, uh, that it can compete with the other professional screenwriters. Uh, so that's basically what I do. Well, I give them the tools, but it's their idea and their story. And that's a major thing when, if you're writing a screenplay. I mean, it is major as to the format. And, uh, you know, because you, you, you look at screenplays, and, you know, it, it has the direction on it about, okay, the nighttime. Yeah, yeah. And the on a mountain headings, and, yeah. you know, all that stuff. And it's just, it's so strange to me to, to have the story but also have to think about writing the visual part of it well I think that if I was to recommend to any writer even people who are writing short stories or novels I would highly recommend taking screenwriting because it really makes you focus on the words you're limited to basically 100 120 pages at most um, and it's very limited amount of space it's not like a full page you have right. just basically small margins uh, so you really have to learn the value of each and every word People who take my screenwriting class walk away, and they are so much uh, better at writing their novels now and their sc anything that they write because they've learned the value of each and every word. That makes sense. And how long have you been doing this? Oh, gosh. I would give away my age. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. We're all among friends here. <laughs> 1994. Wow. And had you spent time in Hollywood? I used to live in Hollywood, and uh, yes spent some time down there but i'm much happier up here in sonoma county yes most of us are i understand that right now i'm uh, i have a new project going on it's called chasing coppola and uh, so i'm down at the winery every weekend uh, trying to get francis to sign on board for the expo <laughs> good good for you he should uh all right well do you want me to read this this is sure. some people that are pending uh, for this expo in March of next year, Sly Stallone, Francis Coppola, Sophia Coppola, Clint Eastwood, Sean Penn, Lawrence Kasdan, Helen Hunt, Drew Barrymore, Nora Ephron, Craig Ferguson, Robin Williams, and others. So you're trying to track down all these people and see if they'll uh, show up to the yeah, event. Yeah, a lot of them are interested. Uh, some of them are on vacation, like Sean Penn and Clint Eastwood right now are on vacation. So uh, they told me they'll get back to me as soon as they get uh, back into their offices. But uh, Sly Stone, I uh, talked to him. He can't do it because he's got expendables coming out the weekend after the expo. So he has to do the publicity. Uh, that's his, St Sly Stallone's new movie is called Expendables? The Expendables, yeah. That's going to come out. What's that about? I haven't heard Superheroes. anything about that. Superheroes. Oh, of really? course. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Now, you have a website, I assume. We do. Uh, our website is www.norcalscreenwriters.com. So it's N O R C A L <laughs> screenwriters.com. All right, I'm hooking it up here. Okay, Northern California Screenwriters, NorCalScreenwriters.com. Right. Now, okay, this event is happening in March of next year. Mm -hmm. You know already that you've got some people signed up uh, from Hollywood, including an Oscar winning screenwriter. The movie Crash, which won the Academy Award. It did. Tell and us about Bobby Moresco. Bobby Moresco um, is a very interesting guy. I met him in Maui uh, with Michael Arndt, who wrote, uh, who won the Oscar for Little Miss Sunshine. And uh, Bobby wrote uh, Crash with uh, Paul Haggis yeah. and uh, won the Oscar for it. And he was also the co-producer of uh, Million Dollar Baby. Which won an Oscar. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Uh, very talented man, very interesting story. He was a taxi driver in Los Angeles before he became successful. Hmm. Now he's making $4 million a script. Got a Way to go, Bobby. <laughs> Tony Seiniger, is it? Tony Seiniger, oh my gosh, what a guy he is. We had him last night at our meetings. 